My husband had an emotional affair after our child was born and doesn't love me anymore. I'm feeling really confused about my marriage right now. A long time ago, my husband did something really hurtful. He had an emotional affair shortly after our child was born. It was really tough for me, but with the help of a therapist and doing things I love, like running and volunteering, I was able to feel better about myself, even though things at home have been kinda calm. Our relationship never really got back to how it was before the affair. Recently, I've been thinking I want more from our marriage, our child is older now, I'm stable in my job, and we don't have any debts, I feel healthier and more in control of my life, plus, my desire for, you know, intimacy is stronger than ever, and I'm super excited about life, but my husband seems okay with how things are, he doesn't make an effort to spend time with me, and there's no intimacy on his part, he doesn't initiate things, and, honestly, he doesn't seem very interested in me, I've talked to him about how I feel and what I need, but he says he is low testosterone and won't do anything about it. He doesn't want to go to counseling, and he's not in a hurry to fix things in our marriage, at this point. We should be enjoying our freedom with no debt and no little kids, I want to travel, have adventures, and, you know, have lots of fun together, but he's just not interested. I'm wondering if there's any hope, should I keep talking to him? Even though our weekly talks don't seem to change anything, has anyone been in a situation like this and managed to turn things around? I'm just not sure what to do, a big one. It's been really tough lately, I had a final talk with my husband, and here's what happened. I told him I can't live like this anymore. I want a real husband, not just someone I share a home and child with. He said we owe it to our son to have both parents around, but I told him we owe it to our son to be happy, so he knows what happiness looks like. I don't want our home to be like this for him. My husband didn't get why he's okay with it but I'm not. He accused me of being insecure because I can't live without a man. Then he said we should keep going like this, and maybe things will get better with time. I said our marriage has never been good, and I want to try to make it better, not go back to how it was. He thinks I like being miserable and keeps asking, why can't you just be happy? It was then that he admitted he never really wanted to get married and have kids. He did it because it's what normal people do, that was like an aha moment for me. I always felt something was off in our marriage. Like I had to fight for what I needed, I asked him to move out so we can start separating, but he refused, saying it would be too hard on him. I can't leave because I'm the main caregiver for our son, and I don't want to uproot him, when we separate. I want our son to still have this home as his main place. After the aha moment, I felt really sad. Now, I'm questioning everything. I started crying, and he got frustrated and left. We haven't said anything to each other since. Just talking about household stuff and childcare. He's suddenly doing all the things I begged him to do for the last 16 years. Helping around the house, being attentive to our son, planning family activities. It's confusing and infuriating. Why now? When I have one foot out the door, I don't know what to do. He doesn't want me to leave but won't work on our marriage. I'm totally confused and seeking advice. Just leaving is not an option for me. I have to leave my son. And that's not an option. Update 2. It's been really tough, and I wanted to share with you what's been happening. I talked to a divorce lawyer just to understand my options, and he was really helpful. We're thinking of doing it as an uncontested divorce, splitting everything 50 50 its I'm going to check with a few more lawyers for pricing. Thinking about not seeing my child every day breaks my heart, we have a really good relationship, and he usually talks to me about stuff, but I don't want him to think this is okay for me because it's not. I keep feeling like I did something wrong and questioning my worth. I also reached out to a few therapists to help me through this. For the money I make from my part-time job, I'm going to use it for myself. I told him that if he gets a part-time job, he can use the money however he wants. He's not happy about it, but I can't worry about his happiness anymore. I appreciate all the honest feedback from everyone. It means a lot during this tough time. Final update. Hey everyone. It's been a long time since I talked to you all here over a year. Actually. But I wanted to share an update because you were so nice and gave me advice on my earlier posts. Wow. What a difference a year can make. If you remember my old posts. You'll know I was going through a really tough time last year. My marriage seemed like it had ended a long time ago. And I was really sad. I even thought about doing something really bad. But luckily. I talked myself out of it. Since then, a lot has changed. I separated from my husband, bought a house, got a new job, ran a marathon, met a new man, and did quite a bit of traveling. It's been a crazy and busy year. If you want to know more about my adventures, just message me. Now that things have slowed down, I'm sitting here on the night before Thanksgiving. Thinking about the year, here are a few thoughts. People say marriage is hard, and divorce is hard, and you have to choose your heart. Well, let me tell you, divorce is much harder. I wouldn't celebrate it unless someone is in danger, Sometimes I wonder if I did the right thing. Not because I miss my ex, but because being married felt safer. It's less scary facing the devil you know, than the devil. You don't, but deep down. I know I did the right thing. You can't live with constant disrespect from your spouse and expect to be mentally well. Still, I'll always wonder if I could have held out a bit longer, at least until our child was in college. There's no perfect person waiting for you out there. 
There are lots of imperfect people. Some working on themselves and some not. I always check in with myself to make sure I'm one of the ones doing the work. Unfortunately, there are more folks not doing the work. I get it. It's hard and painful. It takes an incredible amount of strength to face your own issues, leave relationships that don't work, and be alone. We often want the story to be a victim, villain scenario, that it's usually not, except for cases of abuse. We're often blinded by our ego and fail to see our role in the demise of relationships. My ex isn't a bad person. He just wasn't the right person for me. I ignored that fact in my rush to get married and have kids. Now, the present, the new relationship I was in recently ended in a similar way to my marriage. They say the universe will keep sending you the same lesson until you learn it. So true. At least now I can recognize it and do better. It's not the universe, it's me. Hi. I'm the problem. I went right back to what I know. Finally, the constants in my life, my health, my incredible family, amazing girlfriends, and my own kick-ass attitude. I know I'll always take care of myself, and that's so comforting. Recently, one of my BFFs told me she's thinking about divorcing her husband. She explained everything to me and asked me what she should do. I gave her the most honest answer ever. I don't know. I'm not her. And I can't possibly understand her situation. But I promise to support whatever decision she makes 110%. For anyone thinking about a big life change, please know that you really do know what's best for you. Trust yourself to make the decisions you need to make, knowing you'll be there to take care of yourself.